Today gamers, we're going to be jumping into some Cyberpunk 2077, and since the updates hit Phantom Liberty, there's a whole bunch more you can do in the game. Some of which is collecting some of the new iconic weapons, which are absolutely amazing. So if you want to know how to get hold of some of the best ones very early on in Dogtown, then stay tuned. Let's come on next. Welcome back everybody, the first weapon we're going to be going over is going to be the Hawk Power Assault Rifle. This weapon is quite unique and it's one that you could actually miss if you're not keeping an eye out. Now during your Phantom Liberty playthrough you're going to undertake the quest Lucretia My Reflection. This goes on for quite some time but the main thing you're going to need to remember is that a little later on once you make it to a certain apartment and that's going to be the one just here right next to the Chris Street Fast Travel then at a certain point you'll be able to obtain this weapon and it's well worth getting hold of. Now I've heard this can actually disappear at certain points and sometimes it comes back. I'm going to tell you how I got it. I waited until I'd already met up with Reed, then I searched around the house because you'll definitely want to do that, there's some really tasty things in here, but the main thing is to look at this wall just on your left hand side before you leave the apartment. This thing is just amazing as it's very unique and does a lot of things that other weapons don't do. Headshots temporarily weaken and mark enemies, in this weakened state enemies move slower and cannot use abilities. They deal less damage and are more prone to losing their balance. That is a whole bunch of things that it is bringing about all at one time. Now I'm going to show every one of these weapons afterwards, this is without a full build on, this is just showing you the kind of effects going on with the weapon and how its playstyle is, but this one is definitely worth having. Probably not the best against mechanicals I found, but against humans, but against any human enemies, this one is absolutely amazing, doing some pretty significant damage and as you saw, able to inflict a whole bunch of different statuses. Over to our second one, and I'm probably going to mispronounce this, so apologies, we're looking for the Egaro, and it's going to be an axe that does shock. Now this item can be obtained if you go all the way over to the Luxor High Wellness Spa Fast Travel, and from there you're going to make it into the building across from it. It's also just down from a gig that you can see just over this way. In fact, in this building is going to be a criminal activity going on, so get your game face on, there's a whole bunch of baddies to take out. You'll know you're in the right place when you see the entrance to this right here, and then you've just got to decide how you want to go about things. Do you want to take everyone out? Do you want to go stealthy? Which I never really do. But after you've destroyed a whole bunch of the enemies inside, you'll make your way through the instance, and then you'll find this absolute beast of an elite enemy called Ao Zarin and she's the one that you need to defeat in order to get this cool new iconic weapon. I must admit she has absolutely loads of cyberware so she'll dodge, she'll try and maim you if you get too close to her, she's very close range so probably try and keep a little bit of distance and take her out from afar if you can. But the weapon is this one right here and the main thing that you're going to see about this, this one will have them shaking in their boots because crit hits with throws emit a shockwave that can damage multiple enemies. This is a really cool axe, it works well up close and personal and for some reason it reminds me a little bit of Dying Light when you're doing your own modifications on weapons. But the main thing you're going to want this for as you can see in the background is when you get those tasty headshots and you're throwing, you're getting the crits, it does a nice bit of damage and a nice bit of AoE as well. Over to one of my favourite weapons in the new update, this is definitely something I think I'm probably going to build around because the Alder Tech Shotgun is incredibly devastating and one that's very easy to get hold of. In fact rather than doing gigs, rather than doing a main mission or just going to a criminal activity, all you have to do instead is go all the way up to the EBM Petrochem Stadium fast travel and then you're going to make your way over to the Black Market Vendor. This fella right here is the guy that you're after and he's going to sell you some really nice stock throughout this game so come back here and check it out if once in a while as I believe you can get other iconic weapons here as well. But the Alder Shotgun is one you're not going to want to miss. Charging this weapon above 66% vaporises enemies in your path leaving an EMP trail behind it. This literally does that, it disintegrates things, it does a lot of damage, it does damage over time from a shock effect and is definitely one of my favourite weapons currently in the game. If you're using this weapon as a standard shotgun and just pulling off a tap here and there, this is not going to be ideal, it's not going to be the best compared to a lot of the others, but if you're going to be charging it up, it's probably one of the stronger and best weapons in the game, doing a significant amount of overall damage and of course applying that tick damage with the shock effect as well. Now earlier we were talking about a gig over by the wellness spa and this time 
we're going to be going straight to it. The item we're after is going to be none other than the Ogu Smart Pistol. Again, this is going to be another activity where your aim is to take down one of the elite enemies inside, so you're going to want to make your way all the way through the facility, tackling all the baddies until you get to the right place. And with this one, you'll definitely know when you're there because there's going to be a double doors. You're going to go through and go into a kind of creepy lab type place, holding what seems like synthetic bodies within certain containers. There's a few pieces dotted around here if you want to pick them up, but the main thing you'll be focusing on is going to be the big elite robot in the middle who doesn't want you to have a very good day. And that's going to be the Robot R Mark II. Tackle it however you see fit. I was using the tech shotgun from earlier and absolutely disintegrated him. But the iconic weapon that he drops is going to be this pistol right here, the Ogo Smart Pistol. This is actually quite a unique weapon as it does things that not many do in this game. Fires a burst of two explosive rounds and the hits have a higher chance of dismemberment. Each dismemberment increases your crit chance and chance to apply bleeding. So it's got explosive, it's got bleeding, it's got dismemberment and it fires a burst of two explosive rounds at once. I found this to be a really easy to use weapon and because of all the added effects going on with it, it's a lot better than the stats would have you believe. This works really well on normal enemies such as your standard humans because of the headshots and auto aiming but it also does really well a lot better than I actually thought against the kind of tech or big robot enemies because of the explosive effects going off. Definitely one to watch out for and if you like smart pistols or you just like having an easy time taking out your enemies this may well be one for you. Last and one we haven't covered we're going to be picking up a power sniper and this one's going to be called Sparky. For this you're going to want to go all the way down to the bottom of Dogtan near these kind of silo structures and you're going to go to the Terra Cognita fast travel. You'll know you're at the right place when you see this really luxurious parking area with all of these bodies strung up around it. But you're not going to go through the parking you're going to make your way up to the Terra Cognita, go through that entrance and then just head over here till you see the crime activity pop up. This I found to be one of the toughest ones out of all of them. There's a lot of enemies here. There's a lot of automated turrets and a few kind of elite or tougher enemies inside. But the main thing you're going to do, make your way through the instance. Check things out as you go as there's a lot here. But you're going to want to take this thing out first. A massive flying sentinel right in the middle. That will definitely give you a tough time if you let it. Take it out as quick as you can. Then on the top floor, one of the doors is going to have opened and you'll be able to make your way through and grab the Sparky Iconic Sniper Rifle. This one, as it's a sniper rifle, has nice headshot damage, has 50% armor penetration, 24% chance to shock, and as someone who doesn't really play much of Sniper, I found it quite easy to use. Also, one of the main features of this, when you do get a nice tasty headshot, it's going to emit electric bolts on each one. This, I found, does a little radius effect again, much like the axe earlier, and can take out multiple targets at once, depending on their health and such. So it could definitely be a cool weapon used in the right hands. There's a whole bunch going on with this game. I'll be bringing out a lot more guides, a lot more videos. There's so many more weapons that I haven't found yet that I'll let you know about as soon as I do. But for now, enjoy these ones. And as always, take care. I'll see you on next day.